The AT is traveled by thousands of hikers every year. This makes it even more important for hikers like you to take care of it. By staying on durable surfaces, you can keep the plants alive for other hikers to enjoy. Walk in the middle of the path, even if it means walking in mud puddles. You'll want to wear gaiters to keep the mud off your legs and out of your boots. Switchbacks may be tempting to cut, but stay on the path and let the plants live. If you decide to use trekking poles, be sure to use rubber tips to lessen the impact. If you need to step off the path, watch you don't step on plants and flowers. Make sure you are walking on something durable. Some durable surfaces are rocks, grass, and compacted soil. When you're looking for a place to call home for the night, the easiest way to minimize your impact is to choose designated campsites or shelters. These areas concentrate the impacts of a lot of people into a relatively small area. The environment has already been altered, so your stay will have little additional impact. When pitching your tent in heavily used sites, choose areas where the soil has already been compacted. Don't expand the size of the campsite by pitching your tent on the soft edges, even though they may be tempting. Inevitably, there will be times you'll want to tent in a more pristine area. Where dispersed camping is allowed, look for a natural durable surface, like grass or a rock slab. If these are not available, choose an area with no signs of previous use, and avoid trampling vegetation. Use soft-soled shoes in camp. To minimize campsite proliferation, avoid areas where impacts are just beginning. If left alone, those sites can recover. If you use a hammock, protect the trees with a bandana or a sock to prevent damage from the rope. Do not use nails. <laughs>